All right. So I'm back. Uh, I grabbed a pair of pliers. It's uh, adjustable pliers there. It's got two different sizes, so you can either have it a little bit open like that, or you can go all the way shut like that. And I found the hacksaw blade that was on it, and I also had a spare blade. These blades are Lennox medium metal, fine metal, shadow resistant, said light, made in the USA for global components. Interesting. 24 teeth per inch. So that should do the job. It's a skin hacksaw, good solid unit. It takes different sizes of blades, you just got to adjust it to. It's got three different size settings there. You just adjust it up for whatever size you want to use. This looks like it's pretty much the largest blade. I'm going to keep one of these out here for a spare. Now I wanted to cut this, but we don't want to cut it right off. Put a little mark in there. Start to that, so we'll take the shovel and the vise. Upside down. Marked. And then we need another one. And the package of pins are here. I really need to go through the shelf and get it organized. Bring it up to snuff. Find it in a minute. Just set it for now. Nice, we finished. Because I could break it off right now, but it's better if you just go easy and just that way you get a nice clean cut all the way through. It's a bit worn. That's, that's awesome. We don't end up with a big burr on it. We got it. That's awesome. That's going to be a much better length to work with. Should be able to get enough material there to peen down on it. If not, I have a few more pins and we'll give her another go. Now, locate the rest, and more to go. anybody has any ideas for organizational uh, methods for this shelf, I'd love to hear them uh, if you use any input that you've got. Got a lot of stuff up there, just needs, needs going through and being sorted properly, that's all it needs. All I did was use the cutoff piece from before to gauge where it was. This one could be a little longer, but that's that's all right. I wouldn't want to do it shorter.
nice and easy. We don't have to be a maniac to go through it. Anymore. Well, Theo's out. It's a spot match. Just don't put too much pressure on it. You come through and slice your hand, and that wouldn't be good either. Awesome. Come off. So here we go, we got both our pins done. There they are, ready to go. We're ready to heat up that torch. Move some of these tools away. Don't really have a spot for this out here. We'll just set the way down here for now. And then we're gonna need these, we're gonna need these, these the cutoffs. Get them out of the way. Get the paint out of the way. Safety cross, we're just going to remove this gas from the building before we light up the torch. These guys are empty, it's not likely they would explode, but in the event that they would, I'll get them out of here. Okay, these off. What I want to make sure is that I have enough to right in here. When I roll that sucker over, a good contact on the back of this. That I do. So this like, yeah, it's gonna hit just nicely under there. Gotta do. Heat that up. I'm gonna slide it down through the hole. And uh, we'll paint it over. Lighten this torch I just turn it on just a touch. Get it going. Bring it up. going to hold that in the end, right like that, and uh, heat up the end there. It's hot, it's smoking. Roll that over. You gotta be really careful that you don't hit the torch. Might have been a touch too short. I don't really have a good contact on there. Shut that off. I'm just going to measure this to this side. That's what I thought. It's thicker back here than it is up here. So I'll need to reuse one of those pins. I think I'm going to have to redo that one as well. We got two pins left. So it's all right. It's taking too long. Where 
here do you have? try and do is I'm going to set this top pin first and I'll punch out that bottom pin that way we don't miss it off the shelf. was perfect. Had enough peanut, it's even pulling in back in some of the metal on there, so that is awesome. I'm happy with that one for sure. Yeah, that's going to hold. It's got great contact all the way around. Beauty. The other one, we're going to poke him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we have to hit out that pin there. The shawl is actually hot from that pin. Coming through. It's amazing. So there it is, and that's what happened inside of there. It's uh, it bent up pretty good. So yeah. Set up back here. 
through there and then I'll just roll it over. Peter down as best we can. Still that little bit left from last time. My room is about half the size of this, so. It's good to keep your workspace when you're doing something like this as clear as possible because you have as minimal things in your way. The reason for that is you don't want to get all trying to do something here and be fast and accurate about it. We don't need other things in the way to get us confused. So our mistakes and accidents happen. And we'll just set that in there. That. The best method to get that going is not to actually throw a flame in because there's a gas coming out to blow it out. It's to throw a spark right down in there and it lights up really well. Just sit right about there. There we go. Job done. Nice solid pin on there. Both of them are excellent. Got a solid working shovel again. That's awesome. Beauty. Granddad's shovel is finished. Any questions or anything like that, please feel free to write them down in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.